My mental health journey has been, you know, a hard one, a different one, uh, could be a similar one to others. You know, growing up wasn't taught much about mental health. My parents always like validated our feelings, our emotions, talked about them. Um, you know, my sister was diagnosed with depression, anxiety. You know, they got her help, got her the medication she needed. But still, growing up, I didn't know how to describe any feelings I had. Didn't know how to describe my emotions. Didn't know how to validate my emotions, even though my parents did. You know, in 2018, you know, my sister Ella died by suicide and flipped my whole family's world upside down, you know. Um, was thrown into this world of mental health, didn't know much about it, didn't know how to talk about it. People didn't talk about it. It was just this foreign thing that people didn't really approach or know how to handle. Um, you know, I've learned that like, it's okay not to be okay, you know, it's okay to get help. Um, you know, it's okay to be vulnerable, it's okay to understand your feelings. It's okay to be angry, you know, these are all feelings of the human experience and it's so important that we learn how to honor them, learn how to validate them, learn how to sort through them and just help people on the journey because in mental health people feel so alone. It's why they don't, feel, they, why people don't get help, why people don't talk about it, why people aren't vulnerable. Um, for my own mental health, you know, I have a few different coping mechanisms. Um, my mind runs crazy, you know, so I got to write things on paper to get them out of my head. So I'm a big journaler. I like to write my thoughts out. I like to type in my notes how I'm feeling or what I need to get done. Um, that's huge for me. I'm also someone who is in my head and my life speeds up all the time. You have football going on, you have training, you have family, you have life, you have friends, you have girlfriend, this and that. And, you know, my, I feel like my life never stops, so I, I learned how to meditate. And I also am big on therapy, you know, I, I, I do therapy weekly, um, helps me learn about my emotions, helps me learn about myself, what I need to work on. To break the stigma, um, we all need to be more vulnerable, we all need to be more empathetic. Um, you know, when we ask someone how they're doing, like, be genuine and, and authentic and ask them, hey, how are you really doing today? Like, and listen to them, don't, and if they say they're not doing well, you know, you don't have to fix their problems, just listen and help them feel heard and validated.